This is a story about a very curious bear. It's called Don't Worry, Hugless Douglas, and it's written by David Melling. Douglas and his dad were playing. What's behind your back? asked Douglas. Not that hand, the other one. Dad smiled. Something for you. It was a new woolly hat. Wow, said Douglas. Thanks, Dad. Douglas had never had a woolly hat before. He couldn't wait to show his friends. Look after it, said Dad. But Douglas was already off. Look at me, shouted Douglas. Snazzy hat, Douglas, barred the sheep. I can even do cartwheels in it, he whooped. And he did. Again and again. Until something didn't feel right. Douglas gasped. His new woolly hat had turned into one long string of spaghetti. That's not supposed to happen, he gulped. Don't worry, Douglas, said the sheep. We'll fix it. They wound it into a ball and squashed it back into shape. Any good? they asked. No, said Douglas. Cow is a thinker, said the sheep. She'll know what to do. Cow thought she had a very good idea. Pretty, she said. No, said Douglas. Don't worry, Douglas, chirped a swoopy bird. I can use this for my new nest. No, you can't, yelped Douglas. That's my new woolly hat. Doesn't look like a woolly hat, said the swoopy bird. Anyway, he puffed, it doesn't fit. And he dropped it out of the tree. Just then, it began to rain. Douglas was really worried now. What's my dad going to say? He mumbled. Rabbit popped up. Ooh, thanks, Douglas. That's what I need to plug the hole in my burrow. That's my new woolly hat, said Douglas. My dad gave it to me. Sorry, said Rabbit. I didn't know. Come here, she said, and wiped his nose. What am I going to do, sniffed Douglas. <laughs> Rabbit looked thoughtful. Why don't you just tell your dad what happened? He's nice, your dad. He'll understand. Do you think Douglas should tell his dad what happened to the woolly hat? Maybe Rabbit was right. Douglas picked up his wet spaghetti hat and trudged back home. How do you think Douglas was feeling? Do you think he wants to go back home? I don't think so either. But let's see what happened when he got there. Oh, Douglas, sighed his mum. Look at you. Where's your new hat? asked his dad. Douglas told them everything. Is Rabbit right? Do you think Dad will be understanding about the new woolly hat? Let's find out. Don't worry, Douglas, said Dad. I've got something for you. Guess which hand? Douglas wasn't sure. Here's my hat, laughed Dad. <laughs> You'll soon grow into it. And that is the end of the story. What a lovely story that Douglas does not have to worry anymore. But before we go, shall we have a look at the other hats that he could have worn? 
See if you can choose your favourite one. Let's look on the next page. Would you like to wear the banana hat? The nappy hat? What about the I don't like peas hat? Ah, the follow the leader hat. Yes, it's a nice colour. What about the spot the difference hat? I know, you want to share the best friend's hat. Or maybe the pants hat. You could still try the peekaboo hat, the wig hat, the weather hat. That would be so cool. What about the potty hat? Oh, not sure. Ah, oh, yes, the love hat. Oh, I know. Why don't you wear the family hat? Choose your favourite one. There's so many to choose from. Bye for now.